Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Excuses. Beloved family, our text says, Remember what I told you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. John 15, 20 to 22. An employee at the office needs paper at home, so decides to take a couple reams of paper from the office, saying they order boxes of paper here. They don't need this extra paper. Besides, I see them wasting paper all the time. A young married woman enjoys conversation with a male associate at work and asks his advice about issues in her marriage. He gives her advice that continues to texting after work hours. She says that they are just friends even though he's advising her about personal issues in her marriage. A young man is getting married and his friends throw him a bachelor party where women give private dances and are available for extra entertainment for a price. The young man's friends convince him to go all out because this is the last night he will be able to enjoy the single life. What does this sound like? Something that we all do. We justify or make excuses for our sin. We rationalize that it's okay to do what we want based on our circumstances or someone else's. We even say, if so and so can do it, why can't I? We make excuses not to do what God called us to do, so we can do what we want to do. Reminds me of what Paul said in Romans 7, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. That sounds like the excuses we give. There is a story that Jesus tells in Luke 14 in response to a statement that one of them made. Jesus was at the house of a Pharisee observing how the religious people act. They were all choosing the places of honor, thinking of themselves higher than they ought. As Jesus observed, he said, when someone invites you to a wedding, do you automatically go and sit in a place of honor? He tells them, when you are invited, choose to be humble and not exalt yourself, lest you be embarrassed. This caused an immediate response, and Jesus tells them this parable. A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servants to tell those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I just bought five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another said, I just got married so I can't come. The servant came back and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the cripple, the blind, and the lame. Sir, the servant said, What you have ordered have been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant, Go out to the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. Luke 14, 15 to 24. Justifying sin and not doing what the Lord commands us in his law is making excuses. God says it plainly in Romans 1. The wrath I have against sin, I exercised on myself. 
and the wonderful works of God's hand is demonstrated among us. So family, there is no more justification for making excuses. God's wrath for our excuses was exercised on Christ Jesus. So what excuse have you been making not to repent, not to become what you were created to be, not to walk in the purpose God created in you? For even now, the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. Much love.